so this is our website and what we will do before we upload our code base to the cloud is to update the product space uh, to look a little bit better so that you can see all of the products up front rather than scroll it and all of that right so if i go back to the code base the products page products component and if you see the html here we are just using the card uh, what we can do is we can use the grid so that you, sh you show your product in a grid fashion so i can use uh, rather than uh, this card thing i can i can uh, put this card under the grid so there is a mat grid uh, list and mat grid tile so there are two things available so in this case i'll just use the list one and in the mat grid list i can uh, use the mat grid tile and inside the mat grid tile i can put the entire thing uh, the card so i can put this card inside the mat grid tile and we should repeat this uh, tile uh, multiple times so whatever we used to repeat here we'll just put this code completely uh, we don't need this example card thing we can take this for loop and put it here so we repeat the multiple tiles that way it is this is one thing and then also you can say that how many columns you need so i can say here in this uh, i need let's say five columns and also you can say how many height what is the row height I can put some default height let's say 600 pixel so this way it should um, format our product page little bit better so let's see so at least you can see this way right which, which looks little good a uh, little better the only thing is the images are duplicating so what I can do is I can remove for now the header part we don't need header let's say let's remove this header completely and see how it looks like like this it looks good right and then tomorrow sorry future in future we can put here add to cart and then we can show cart somewhere here or or here right that we can do later on so at least now it looks good and um, i think this is a good time to um, uh, to put our uh, code base into the cloud and so that at least you have this much working thing in the cloud and then what we'll do is we'll finish our application completely with checkout uh, feature uh, adding to the cart and checkout and then we will again deploy the code base the final code base into the cloud as a separate application so that you have two checkpoints so one is this one and another is the final one so this is good so let me check in this code base uh, saying uh, updated products page so next what we will do is we'll try to learn uh, what is heroku and uh, i'll explain you what exactly heroku structure is their architecture is and why we should use it right uh, before we deploy any question on this?